So that, that's how I make decisions. Uh, but I also made it very clear to everyone. There are things I do not know. What it would be unfortunate, you make a decision and things you do not know. You cannot know the physics. Majority is only as long. So I never, almost, almost never go to a person's home or have any social interaction with them. When they come to talk to me, it's the only physics. In the video, please like, share and subscribe to Chuck Kim Ming. You will not miss our latest video. Thank you for watching. At the terminal large distances is the alpha magnetic spectrometer known as AMS on the International Space Station. The construction cost is for the space station alone is uh, 100 billion dollars. I said to myself, I've been doing physics all my life at different accelerators with different technologies. Uh, maybe I should now do something new, something I know nothing about, something everybody thinks is not possible, cannot be done. And, yes. and so this is the detector, and as you can perhaps imagine, this is not a cheap detector, and somebody sent me this cartoon, said, we have just decided launching money directly to space was cheap. <laughs> the point is, if you want to do such an experiment, you cannot, the only, you cannot worry about the funds. What you need is accuracy and reliability, no matter how much it costs. Only with the complete support for the house and Senate were able to put this in space. The detector is so large, and so I had to go to the Air Force to ask them to support us with the C-5. C-5 is the largest airplane, and fortunately the chief scientist of the Air Force was a physicist, and by then, because the Congressional Act so everybody understand the importance. And so they sent the C-5 from the United States to Switzerland. And uh, in Geneva, nobody has seen such a large airplane. They made the, fr made the front page of the local Geneva newspaper. Then one day, I decided to sit alone on the near, the near the launch pad. I sat quiet there for about four hours, to thinking through. Nobody has done such a detector before. It took 10 years to build. And I was involved in all the decisions. On some things, some things I know, some things I do not know. Could there be a mistake? If there's a mistake, you can not, not let it go, because once it's gone, you never get it back. I remember after four hours, somebody in NASA took a picture. I remember my whole body was extremely cold. The night before the launch, the astronauts, they stayed in isolated places together with their wife. And invited me for a dinner. And I remember the dinner being very excellent, very, very good food. But they were very calm. The only person who was so very nervous was me. Because I realized 
weiß und bleibt. Das lassen wir nicht tun. Es ist ein anderer Menge Asanas, an der Schule in different from us, not only exceptionally intelligent, but they are very, very calm. Because the distance between life and death in space is a very short few seconds. So they are very, very, very calm. One of the things I forgot was uh, once it's in space, the space station has to move. Because if it doesn't move, you will, you will fall down. This means there's no Christmas, no Chinese New Year, no no weekend. You have to be there day and night. One of my main responsibility is to have a meeting with everyone at five o'clock every afternoon. And I need to know every minute what is going on how they move the space station, move the solar panel, and uh, when there's uh, other rockets coming to the space station. So there's no such a thing in the last 12 years for holidays. The prime motivation for basic research is curiosity. In 12 years, we have recorded more than 200 billion cosmic rays. The accuracy and the characteristics of the data simultaneously for many different types of cosmic rays require the development of a new theory of the cosmos. So what this experiment has done is to disprove all the cosmic rays, the all the understanding of our cosmos in the last hundred years. And this was when it was first launched to Scientific America as a special article about this experiment. As I said, the prime motivation of basic research is curiosity. The inner passion to learn something new or obtain a deeper understanding of a natural phenomenon. Question is, what are the basic building blocks of nature? What make up stars and galaxies? Are external and have inspired the generation of scientists, artists, writers to seek answers and explore the unknown? The liberal art education provided by a strong and comprehensive foundation for many fields of endeavor. It provides a perspective on the world by examining the full spectrum of human thought and achievement. Students at this distinguished university have an important role in applying results of basic research to new technologies and industries that have profound effect on the quality of our life. Thank you. Well, thank you, Professor Ying, for such a fascinating introduction of uh, some of your experiments. For over 12 years now, as a, as a whole team of uh, hundreds of people, maybe thousands, and they're coming from many countries, many different ethnic backgrounds, religious backgrounds. How do you make sure they work together, given that there is a conflict going on once in a while? Uh, this is a very important question. We have countries of different political background, different religious background, and different funding procedures, different government regulations. My role is on the following. First, I propose an experiment, and then citizens from Germany, from Italy, from France, found this experiment very interesting. and they join this experiment. I only discuss with them on physics and technology, nothing else. So I have a, there are people who, 
who were my student and some are students, students, and some become professors, laboratory directors, ministers. I always keep a big distance with every one of them. And so I never, almost, almost never go to a person's home or have any social interaction with them. When they come to talk to me, it's just the only physics. <laughs> and they're also, um, there are many, many things, particularly in space, I really do not know. But I care to. Actually, this is a subject I do not know. And you can educate me. And after lengthy discussions, why is I understood how to make a decision? Because you cannot go into physics. Majority's opinion has no meaning. So you have to think through. People listen to you because you have never made a mistake. If you continue on making mistakes, nobody will listen to you. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, may I know that when you face the problems or difficulties or topics that you never, you haven't known how to do it or you don't know how to solve it, how would you solve it? Like the whole process of thinking about a new solution or a new way of thinking. How would you how how you build up this whole process? Asking you about. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for you and for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thing, uh, that's one note that when you are uh, facing difficulties uh, in physics or in mathematics, how is how would you solve it and how would you solve that question? When you do an experiment of this time, you really need to think this is the most important thing in your life. And you put this experiment and you do nothing else. So most of the time, I sit alone thinking through what could happen. And they're in both in my home. You are looking at the numbers and to see whether anything suspicious. I do, I am able to re record all the elements response and if there are difference, I can detect them. But I can do that, mainly because I don't do anything else. Besides, besides this experiment, basically I don't do anything else. If you find a mistake, then you can correct it. But if you find, if there's a mistake, you do not know. Your instrument has a bias, and you do not know that you're going to make a mistake. And so far, this has not happened. Because I'm always suspicious of my abilities. So every day at 5 o'clock, I have a meeting with everyone and go over all the things. So that, that's how that's how I make decisions. I but I also make it very clear to everyone. There are things I do not know. Okay. What would be unfortunate you make a decision and things you do not know. Thank you, Professor Dean, for uh, such a nice day. Uh, Question and answer is really some unique.
lessons and the experience sharing sharing with us. It's, it's amazing that uh, you know in that status of mind, I was very impressed by you sitting in that chamber for four hours before its launch. It's, it appears like uh, you're like a movie uh, uh, director, but there's no rehearsal. Right? You direct all the people there, but no rehearsal. And just you have to be successful. Let's uh, give Professor Ding a round of applause. Thank you very much. 中意名家分析，记得俾 like 同埋分享，支持同订阅卓见名家。最紧要揿埋呢个钟仔，咁就唔会错过我哋嘅新片。